Čau, Častin. Čau. Tere. Um, Justin, please tell us how long you have lived in Estonia and, and how long you have lived in Vero, County Vero. Uh, in Estonia, a little over three years. In Vroma, I have lived for over one year. Mm-hmm. And what country you were born in? I was born in Australia. Cool. Um, how did you get here? I hitchhiked through Russia and crossed into Estonia, searching for a place that had a nice connection with nature and forest. So that was what drew me here. Cool. Um, if you think about Vuru, uh, we are by the river of Piusa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you think about uh, the people you met and, and the surrounding, what has surprised you? Maybe even it's, in Estonia, yeah. What has surprised you? It surprised me that I saw it our first year moving from close to Tatu down into uh, this southern part of Ruma. I was expecting that it would be more lonely, that it would take longer to network with people. And I think I found it almost easier. We have a really nice uh, connection of like-minded people. Mm. What fascinates you in here? Uh, what fascinates me is how uh, is how people are so open to new ideas. Maybe slowly, through slow observation, but really willing to uh, consider other people's opinions more than I've seen in any other society. What annoys you the most? Mm, my very slow progress with uh, his together. Okay. Um, tell me, how would you describe an Estonian or a local rural people? What characteristics or how would you describe it to your friends? Friendly, first. Um, Quite welcoming, I think. Quite more welcoming than other parts of Estonia. Quite warm and also very excited if you try some Estonian, which is not always the case in other parts. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on to um, food. What is your Mm -hmm. favorite dish in Estonia? Have you found uh, a new favorite? Can I say drink? Yeah. I, I was introduced to uh, roasted uh, uh, chicory, sigur. Uh-huh. So this uh, coffee substitute, this is, I really like this. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how much you have tasted the local uh, uh, foods, if you've been always vegetarian, but uh, I was wondering if you know the food you definitely don't like, the, the local love and say that you must try it, and you say like, no. Uh... I think, like most, uh, this uh, meat jelly is pretty healthy. Sult? Sult, yes, sult. This is quite uh, not very appetizing. I want to ask about the um, language of Estonia. I will see. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you know some words. Some, yes. Um, can you tell me what is the funniest word in Estonian? Funniest? Or the most awkward? Or? Or the f- I remember, there's many that are quite... Many I find very awkward to pronounce, coming from Latin-based languages. But uh, the one, uh, the first one I remember finding quite funny was just a uh, night. Uh, it just sounds like some uh, <laughs> in English quite not very positive noise. But this this is a funny word for night. Mm-hmm. Um. This language um, day is also to promote the translation mm-hmm. and, you know, encourage different businesses of uh, using um, or setting up different um, uh, languages uh, addition to Estonian. When you came to Estonia, was it easy to find information like on the websites? Um, or was it, can you, can you get all the information you need uh, in the language you understand or do you struggle? Uh... 
for this this simple simple things as a as a traveler you know, to engage with society, then I think it's excellent because everything is in English um, and the initial kind of really basics of settling. But once you want to engage, say setting up an LMTU and this with the bureaucratic system and legal and tax system, then it's quite bad. I think that the English translations are are messy and don't make sense and uh, sometimes not present either. So definitely, I think. Um, thank you, Justin, for welcoming us and uh, showing us around. Uh, thank you for taking part in our Language Day project. And, um, and we wish you all the best. Thank you.